Alrighty guys, so what is going on? I'm back with another review. It's going to be the very first clothing review on the channel. So, you know, thank you guys for making this possible. Now, I'm going to cut straight to the chase. This is going to be two different videos. One is going to be on these gloves from Watson Gloves. And the other one, which is this video, is going to be on this hat and this quarter zip top from Timberland Pro. So let's start with the hat, first things first. Um, and I want to mention one thing actually before I get started. All the links to these articles will be linked, linked in the description down below. Um, as far as the hat and the shirt, uh, the gloves will be, you know, in their video accordingly. And as well, the link to my Instagram, as well as my sneaker Instagram and YouTube account. If you guys didn't, I know I recently started that, so go check them out. But uh, first things first, with the hat, I paid this $14.99, uh, and then I paid the shirt top as they call it $34.99 and the total I got 25% off of everything because they're having a sale off of the hat and I believe the guy just put like 25% on everything um, which is really nice of them so that being said that's that now the hat itself is 100% acrylic which is expected it's not like I, I don't really know many companies that go otherwise unless you're getting like a wool hat or something um, like a merino wool hat or something like that uh, and it, it's 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 a nice hat. It's a hat, pretty straightforward and basic. But it's from Timberland Pro. If you guys didn't know, I love this brand. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It is made in America, for those of you guys who care. Like myself, I love when brands do that because it's not made in China. There's no, you know, corners cut that I'm aware of, at least, in terms of quality. So that being said, that's that. Now, the way the hat fits... I would say, looking at my mirror here, that's right next to the camera, uh, I would say it fits actually pretty good. It's very comfortable. It does not like feel tighter on the ears. It's something that's very comfortable, again. It is something, and the reason why I like this specific hat is because I can roll down the little cuff and do one of these if I want to have it a little bit longer. Um, in the back to cover my neck a little bit more and my ears completely. Give you guys a bit of a side profile to that. And you guys really don't even see the Timberland Pro patch. Now, if you guys know me, I gotta boss it up a little bit. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing it with that patch loud and proud. But, that's it for the hat. So I'm gonna actually keep this on because it's pretty comfortable. Now, when it comes to the shirt, Timberland Pro is calling this the Studwall One Quarter Zip Textured Performance Fleece Top. I would say this is probably the best $40 I've ever spent, plus tax, obviously. Um, and keep in mind, I got these both, the hat and the shirt, at Work Authority, and the gloves and my safety shoes. So I'm going to be doing this review not biased towards each company, <laughs> but I do get to say kind of lean more towards work authority in terms of the selection of clothing but for boots i kind of feel like my safe shoe size you covered better there um if you guys are curious i'm pointing this out because i didn't do it last year when i did my review on their boondocks and i believe i mentioned i got the members safety shoes and you know a couple of you guys were asking oh like where should i get my boots should i go there or whatever um if you guys live in canada go to wherever you can don't always necessarily go out of your way if it's not necessary do your research on whatever exactly it is that you're trying to buy before you go in and then try them out. And that being said, getting into the shirt, it is 100% polyester in terms of the outside, although it does have a really, I don't know if you guys can hear this on camera, that's my nails scratching the material. It does sound like a nylon, kind of ballistic nylon-ish, uh, or nylon-esque uh, feel, if you will, the texture, which I really don't know. It says on the tag here where it gives washing instructions. Um, where does it say here? Face, which I'm assuming is the front. I'm not really too sure. Um, face, 100% polyester, and then back, 100% polyester. Machine wash, cold, wash with like colors. Um, in terms of the fleece, I kind of feel like that may be my only concern here. 
because I know with fleece, I'll probably have to air dry this, which is not an issue, but I will probably, I'm not sure once I start sweating. That's the only kind of thing that I'm kind of concerned about, but keep in mind, I'm going to be wearing this on top of either just a t-shirt or my thermal shirt, and then with a jacket on top, whether it be a high-vis jacket or just a regular jacket if I'm going out around the town. Now, that being said, in terms of durability, um, the hat, I'm going to just give that a 10 because it's a hat. I really, I can't, even with a cheapy hat, I can't see it unless it's like cheaply made, see it falling apart easily. So in terms of the shirt, however, being that it's from a really reputable brand, and I'm going to say that because I love the brand as well, it is a reputable brand, I'm not lying there. Um, it is probably going to last you a long time. Now, if you guys are in construction and you guys are looking for something that's going to hold up, if you guys are getting between walls uh, or whatever, uh, and you, you know, if you're getting between, you're doing anything where you're worried about your shirts or your tops, um, maybe not holding up as well because of the material, you know, scratching or rubbing against two surfaces. Uh, for instance, when I was at GFL, prime example, there were certain calls, um, like I used to pick up a promenade ball. The way the truck had to be parked, I had to shimmy myself between a wall. And at times, let's just say, if I was wearing just this, which I just got this today, but let's just say I was wearing it back then, this rubbing up against the wall, I can kind of see that starting to fray a little bit. Uh, and with continuous use, I would probably recommend just going and getting a full-on jacket or a coat that's made of like a nylon, uh, just to be on the safe side. But if you guys are okay with just this and don't mind it fraying a little bit, I can definitely see this lasting you a few years. Now, out of 10, I'm going to give the rating for this durability-wise, I'll give it about a 10. I'm not really too concerned about it right now. I have high expectations, very high expectations, looking, excuse me, at the way that this is threaded. And I'm paying attention to these little things because it is important. The way that it's threaded, I have to say, is really nice. Stitching is on point for anything Timberland Pro related. And that goes as far as even on the inside, you've guys got that Timberland Pro, that classic Timberland Pro orange stripe there. And it's got a nice zip to it. Now, one thing I want to point out, or actually two things rather, now that we're talking about the zips here. Um, this has an integrated chest pocket, which is really nice because if, let's say, you guys are like myself, if you're wearing this, I don't like putting things in my pant pockets just because I find for one, it'll either weigh me down or two, it's, I'm going to end up sticking like half of my, my house inside my pockets. So I tend to just kind of pack light, so to speak, and the bigger objects stay in my work bag. So if I'm bringing my keys and maybe my bank card, you know, let's just pretend that this flash drive is my keys. You know, we're getting to that point in technology where that's probably going to be something that may be a thing. I don't know why it would. We have push button start but anyways there's a really nice integrated pocket for you guys that's not going to fail and it's got a really nice ykk zipper i believe it does not say on here i, I can't see this being a cheap zipper it's a really robust zipper and zips very very nicely the zipper pull uh, is made of a nylon material Quite honestly, I'm not really too worried, even if this comes off, although I don't think it will. Um, I'm not really too worried about that. And it's got a little bit of an overlap here to prevent the zipper from kind of catching on the top material with the fleece. Um, as well as to kind of, you know, protect if, let's say, you know, you zip it all the way to the top. It's not, the zipper is not touching your, your neck or anything to prevent any rubbing or discomfort. And keep in mind, this is also a water repellent top. I really do go to say Timberland Pro. You guys are absolutely killing it in terms of your work gear, and if you guys did not know, I've gone to Timberland for pretty much my whole life in terms of work boots and regular boots, winter boots, shoes, whatnot. Maybe not shoes, but yeah. <laughs> I currently got two pairs of casual Timberlands, uh, as well as two pairs of work boots from Timberland Pro. So again, you guys know I love the brand. Now... Out of 10, what I give this in terms of uh, just everyday usage, how it's going to hold up. When I say durability, I'm talking about when you're at work and you're really putting this to the test, I would definitely say this would last you at least two to three years. 
Now, keeping in mind, I'm talking about that, having something on top of this, or if you're not really getting too aggressive with it, um, maybe at that point get another couple of pairs or maybe just an extra, like get two of these instead of just one like I did. Um, and that's just to be on the safe side. Now, one other thing that I want to point out again is the fit. Out of 10, I would have to say this is a true to size. By the way, I normally fit an XL or a double X. I kind of thought this would have been a little bit snug just by the way that it looks. It looks wide to you guys. I'm a fat ass. I'll admit that. It's 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 <laughs> it's by no means a small shirt. It's 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 a wide fitting shirt, which is what I like. It's a broad fitting shirt, which is what I like the most. Broad around the shoulders. I have broad big shoulders, so if you guys are a little bit more of a slender build, this may not be that big of a concern for you. If you guys are looking for something that's going to fit your shoulders properly. If you guys want to layer up and you're a little bit slender, go maybe a size down even if you really want. But try it out. I definitely like the fact that this fits because this is the biggest size they had. So it would have been really bad if they didn't have a double X. Or sorry, an XL. Um, but this being an XL, it fits nice around the arms. It's a little bit fitted, but it's not tight which I love. And it's got a loose cuff sleeve uh, along the cuff here. What I mean by loose cuff is it's not, um, like if you guys look at like a Parker where it's got like a fitted cuff, it's not like that. It's not a slim cuff. So if let's say you want to wear a watch or whatever, I don't know, or just something, you have the ability to still do that while wearing this as well as to layer something underneath. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm going to be planning on wearing this with my thermal top, so I want to have a little bit of extra wiggle room, quite literally, because if it's going to be like me wearing two thermal tops, it's going to do me no good. So to give you guys an idea, I'm going to be putting this to the test tonight when I take my dog for a walk. I'm going to be trying to use this as much as possible for the next week, and then after one week, I'm going to give you guys a full-on follow-up. Then I'm going to do after, I don't know, maybe three months and then six months, and then accordingly, every six months after my six month follow up, um, as long as this will last me. So that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I apologize. This is a little bit of a lengthier one. Um, giggity. That's what she said. Make a joke, gentlemen. <laughs> but without you know further ado, we're going to bring this video to an end. As I mentioned in the beginning, all links for these products will be down below in the description for the hat, for the shirt, as well as any products that I ever follow up with in the future. We'll always have their link accordingly in the description. Um, if you guys have any recommended products from Timberland Pro or other brands that are available here in Canada, excluding Carhartt, if you have something from Carhartt that you'd like me to review, let me know. But I have a very tough time here in Ontario, at least. I'm not sure about other provinces. Um, finding a wide variety from Carhartt, where usually it's just like maybe a couple pairs of pants and maybe a jacket, but that's pretty much it. Not a very wide selection, but um, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, peace.